Um, so folks love you, dude. They love watching you play, and they're rooting for you. I don't know though that everyone knows the backstory. I mean, yeah. the Broncos, your college career, the Broncos, the position change, and all of that. You've yep. been through a lot. I have. Um, you know, in your career, it's been a lot to handle, I'm sure, and you seem to have done it with a lot of grace and class. So I applaud you for that. But tell us a little bit about what it was like. Yeah, I mean, I, I could really. It's kind of a long story, so I'll, I'll try not to bore you too much with it, but. Yeah. Um, it kind of goes back to my days at Southern Miss. Um, you know, went there right out of high school. I was a quarterback. And, uh, you know, I had a coaching staff that really enjoyed me and liked me. Well, unfortunately, we went 0-12. And, mm-hmm. and uh, coaches don't really tend to stick around when you go 0-12. So yeah. uh, we brought in a uh, new head coach. Um, he brought in his uh, new guys. Uh, had a, a grad transfer from Cal. Um, brought in two freshmen. And day one, I show up for spring ball. And... I'm the number four. Okay. So, um, you know, that, that was kind of tough to handle. And, you know, I, I always felt like I was a team, team first player. And, uh, you know, I wanted to get on the field somewhere. And I asked him if I could switch to wide receiver. And at the time, he laughed at me. And I think they did it just kind of to appease me. And, you know, I wasn't very good at first. And, you know, it, it took me probably about half the year to kind of learn the ropes and everything because yeah. I'd never been receiver. So, um, I was always a pretty good athlete, but, um, you know, the, the route running is something that is really taken for granted that those guys do. Yeah, for um, sure. it, it, it's really a special ability to be able to run full speed and get in and out of cuts. And, you know, that's something that I really had to learn. And, you know, I never really got great at it. I could always catch the ball. But anyways, um, you know, I ended up playing like probably three or four games, ended up starting probably three games in two years for the guy. And, um You know, he brought me in. I had, I think, three hours left because we had to take um, a bunch of summer courses. So I had three hours left. I was about to take my last final of my junior year, spring junior semester after spring ball. Coach brings me in and tells me that uh, they don't really have a a spot for me anymore. (laughs) So they take my scholarship. They tell me I'm not good enough to play for them. Wow. um, you know, that was kind of a tough moment for me. You know, a lot of thoughts go through your head at that time. It's like, well, I'm three hours from graduating. Do I just, you know, kind of face reality? And do I take the last three hours, you know, not on scholarship and finish up and go into the working world? Or, uh, you know, what are my next steps? Well, you know, I was, I've kind of been like a determined um, person my whole life. And I, I really enjoy like, you know, proving people wrong. You know, I, I feel like I kind of, I've got, I get like a enjoyment of like proving people wrong to tell me I can't do anything or yeah. do something. So, you know, I, uh, I decided to look into transfer opportunities and, you know, I got three offers from, uh, Gardner Webb, Samford and, uh, Samford in Birmingham, not mm-hmm. Stanford. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that, <laughs> yeah. that would have been, people always get that. They think I went to Stanford too. Yeah. I know it's, that, it's, that, that it's one okay. would have been really nice. I would have really enjoyed that one. Yeah. Um, and then Northern Colorado and the, the two that I, didn't choose uh, were for wide receiver. So okay. they told me straight up, you're playing receiver. So Northern Colorado said that they were going to give me an opportunity at quarterback. And I got there and I was in the quarterback room for about a week and a half, my junior year, redshirt junior year. And uh, they switched me to wide receiver. Okay. <laughs> so, and believe it or not, like at Southern Miss, I was getting like seven, eight snaps a game. Like I dropped down a level to FCS and I actually got zero reps. The, like, I think I had two catches my you know, in against who is it, Southern Utah or something like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. Two catches. Uh, you know, not a lot to stand on. I think that was the only game I played in, and uh, you know, I remember just like kind of sitting there in my car after the year and just really like, you know, I'm not too proud to admit that. Like, mm-hmm. I, I cried. I, I yeah. didn't know what I was doing. You know, I feel like I wasted a whole year. I lost 45 hours of credits. Mm. Um, you know switching schools that the, they didn't transfer over transfer over from southern miss and wow um so i had to take 18 hours a semester in order to be eligible because by your senior year you have to have so much completed in order to play so you know at that time i'm kind of sitting there you know before my senior year i'm like do i really want to even go back like i could still go take three hours and just call it good i don't have to worry about football like i've got a job offer on the table for to be a financial advisor for when i'm done with oh, school wow. Um, so, you know, I kind of went to bed, uh, in Atlanta when we had our little break or whatever, I went to bed, you know, thinking I was going to call my coach in the morning and let him know that I wasn't coming back. And, you know, I woke up and my senior year, I was 
slated to be the backup quarterback. They moved me back while playing receiver still. So I figured that I kind of waited my whole life to really be one play away from playing. So I was like, you know, I've, I've never really quit anything that I've started. My parents never really let me do that. So uh, I just didn't grow up that way. So I kind of wanted to just finish out the semester and, you know, whatever happens, happens. So I uh, went back and um, was the backup quarterback. And my first game, we played some D3 school. It was supposed to be like a warm up for us. And my first career pass was a pick six. <laughs> so I, I go in yeah. second half of a blowout game, pick six. And the coach, we played so bad that second half. I think they, the opposing team, we were beating them like 45 nothing. It was like 28-45 yep. at the end of the game. Okay. So like wow. the coach went to the media. I had to read that we played so bad that he was contemplating putting the starters back in the game. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's a tough one, um, you know, to handle. And, you know, I was kind of down on myself then. And, you know, I, I go into the second week and, you know, I, I was I was kind of determined. I was like, if I ever get a chance again, it's I'm probably not going to after the performance that, you know, you throw three balls or all. Was that incomplete. rock bottom for you right that there? Was, yeah, that was pretty much rock bottom. You're only going up. And yeah, then clearly yeah. you went, <laughs> you skyrocketed yeah. from so there. You, you transfer, um, expecting to play a position. You don't. Hours don't transfer over for school. Uh, yeah, I, I was pretty low at that point. And then, uh, you know, picked myself up and tried to study my, my butt off for Abilene Christian, who was the next team that we played. And um, our quarterback actually broke his shoulder uh, the first play of the game. And so I go in there, I still have my wide receiver gloves on because I'm playing backup wide receiver in the meantime, backup quarterback, backup wide receiver. And I go into the game, take the gloves off, go out there, try it onto the field. My very first pass is a 30-yard fade touchdown um, in the down the left side, left corner of the end zone. And, you know, at that point I'm kind of thinking that you know, maybe this guy is just banged up. He's coming back in. Like, I've thrown one touchdown in my college career. Like, I'm I'm good now. Like, I can at least tell my kids, like, I, I threw a touchdown in college. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I, I went to college as a quarterback. I threw one touchdown. You know, yeah. a lot of people do a lot better, but, you know, I had that in my corner. So, you know, I'm walking over the sideline thinking that he's coming back on, and uh, he doesn't. So they tell me, hey, we're still looking at him. You're going back out there. Uh, I threw like a 20 yard completion and my third pass goes for a 30 yard touchdown. So I've got two touchdowns. So now I'm like, man, this is you can great. Tell your, you can tell your kid you had two. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> man, this is great. Like I've, I've got two touchdowns. Like I can freaking walk off into the sunset. Like I'm, I'm good to go. So come back over to the sideline. They're like, he broke his shoulder. You're in for the rest of the game. So I think we're still in the first quarter. Um, I threw two more touchdowns before half, had four. And then I go back out there after half, um, and we're, I think, losing at this point somehow. We're losing like 35 to 28, not a lot of defense going on. <laughs> and I threw three more touchdowns and ran one Oh, in. my Whoa. God. What is that, like seven? Yeah. T- what are we at now? So I, okay. I threw seven and ran one, I think. And uh, was I went from not having played in the game to on Monday was uh, FCS National Player of the Week. Yeah, I would and, say so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I uh, – I got the, the start the next week because our, our guy was out for the rest I, of the I year. I hope and, you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and they, they told me that it was mine the rest of the way and had a pretty good senior year. I finished my college career on another seven-touchdown game against Cal Poly and got another uh, national player of the, the week. Wow. And, um, you know, at that point I'm kind of thinking, like, I, I really achieved my dream. Like, I, I wanted to play college football and uh, have a successful – career or year yep. or whatever it was. And, uh, you know, I, I still had that job offer on the table. I'd graduated and, you know, I had an agent call me who I'm with right now. And he was like, man, I think you could like really play in the NFL. <laughs> and I'm like, no, like I'm, I play in Northern Colorado. Like you, I played one year, like <laughs> I started nine games, 10 yep. games, whatever it was. And, uh, I'm like, guys that do this they play for Georgia they play for Alabama sure. they play for four years they get drafted in the first round they have long NFL careers they're on TV and bowl games and exactly. Heisman finalists exactly yeah. yeah so like you know I, I sat there and contemplated again I'm like do I want to waste three months of you know possibly not you know anything coming to this and just get to work and you know have three months more you know salary in my pocket or mm-hmm. what whatever and you know I again sat there and was like you know I've spent 18 years or 17 years of my life on this game. Like, let's just give it three more months. Let's see what happens. So 
I didn't get any phone calls, didn't nothing. Like I, I went to my pro day and I was expecting to be like one of the faster quarterbacks in the draft. And, uh, you know, I've been running like four fives and stuff. And, you know, I was expecting like that to get me like the physical appearance and ability yep. to get me on people's radar. Well, go to my pro day at Northern Colorado and there's 40 mile an hour winds. So we had like a lineman, they'd set it at our back. So we had like a lineman run like a four, six. Yeah. So they're like, no, we're going inside. So we went inside to the gym on the gym floor. Whoa. And <laughs> I didn't bring tennis shoes. Like I was yeah. doing, planning on doing everything on the turf. Jeez. So this is an unbelievable story. Yeah, I ran, I, mean, I ran in someone else's basketball shoes. And I think I ran like a four, six, seven, and the Panthers and the Cardinals were the only ones that were represented at our pro day. So yeah. two teams. And because it was a fast surface, they said, on the basketball court, they said that they were adding a tenth, oh, a tenth and a half. Geez, come on. So I go from running four or fives while I'm practicing to like a four, eight, five, it shows up in the books and stuff. And, you know, I got a call the next day that they needed someone to throw at the University of Colorado Pro Day. So, you know, I was expecting like 32 teams. They said like 32 teams are gonna be there to look at you. So not me, but to the guys you're throwing to. So I'm like, you know, it's another chance to go yeah, throw. Like for I, sure. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't throw in 40 mile an hour winds. Like they didn't even try it. Yeah. So I was like, let's go throw it Colorado. And uh, I went there and they had us wait around for six hours. So, like, they let the Colorado guys do their thing. Sefo Lufau was the quarterback at the time. Yep. Um, they let those guys go through, and then they had, like, all the invites from other schools and stuff. And they didn't let me run again or do any of that stuff, but they let me throw at the end. And I probably had the best workout that I've ever had in my life. Like That's everything unbelievable. Everything was on point. And after that, I had, like, 14 teams come up to me and talk to me. And so uh, there's a scout from Washington that still talks to me about it uh, to this day. Um, he... My very the only errant pass that I had was the very first one. Okay. So I was throwing a six yard hitch, and I rifled it r way like thirty yards over the guy's head. And he said I was walking out of the the field house when I heard like the ball just crash against the wall, <laughs> <laughs> like it went far. Yeah, like I really missed this one. Flamethrower. Yeah. So he was like that actually kept me in the stadium or in the field house. So like, he he turned back around. Yeah. So he came back. He said like whether it's true or not, I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> We, uh, I had one of the best workouts I ever had. I got, um, you know, a little bit more attention, uh, not a ton, but I got a couple calls during the draft that never ended up being anything. Um, and then the Broncos called me and they gave me a chance. And kind of from there, the rest is history. So. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. Wow. That's, that's an, that is an unbelievable story. Thank you for yeah. taking us. I, I'm happy you told us the Sorry longer. Sorry for taking so much time. No, that's no, what it's we fun. wanted. <laughs>